Welcome to the Blick Summer Series of Workshops here at the beautiful NAEA Studio and Galleries in Alexandria, Virginia. This morning we're going to be solving the art puzzle. So if we think of art as being a puzzle that's to be solved, we have the elements, and the elements are the pieces. The elements on their own are very, very interesting. But the way that we put them together, the way that we think about them, uh, the way that they merge uh, is what we would call the principles. We're going to be using balsa wood to make our puzzles today. And I hope you guys really enjoy working with balsa wood. I wanted to bring out something just kind of unusual that you could have a chance to play with. Let's run through. I'm going to run through the elements really quickly here. I've got some pieces and I'll just talk about uh, things that you might think about. You guys are going to be creating puzzle pieces and then we're going to bring them together with the principles. Here are some examples of line work done on balsa wood. You're going to be able to create some organic lines, geometric lines, um, uh, colorful lines on the balsa wood. Let's move on. These are, sh these are examples of shape. Shape being more, referring more to the flatness of the shape. We've got squares, we've got triangles, we have examples here of form. Now form is expressed, is shape expressed in three dimensions. So with the piece of balsa wood, you know, you can build up triangles, shapes like this. You can glue pieces together and create form that way. It doesn't have to be very deep at all. Color can be expressed through uh, watercolor, through acrylic paint, through, uh, we're going to have pastels, which I like to enable to express different values of color. Texture, oh, you guys are going to love creating texture on balsa wood. It is very fun. It's a real soft wood. You'll be able to just press the pencil down into it and create lines and textures like this. Try taking your paintbrush and turning it up backwards and you know, creating a stipple te texture with your paintbrush as well. Uh, the texture is a lot of fun. Now with value, um, it's a little difficult to tell because the wood is very absorbent and it's going to look a little bit different in color once it's dry and the wood absorbs it more. That's one of the reasons we included the pastels because when we want to take our values lighter, take our values darker, um, you'll be able to accomplish that a little better with the pastels. And space. Space uh, might be defined as what isn't there. So if we look at an example like this where you have the negative areas that are, are formed by the pieces in between, that's, that's space. It's the missing puzzle piece. Okay, so you're going to be creating these pieces and then we're going to use the principles of design to solve the puzzle. Our emphasis today is going to be on emphasis. The area of emphasis is the red dot because it's the one thing that's, that's circular. It's in the one wood piece that is on a diagonal. Another clue that can lead to emphasis is proportion. And as you can uh, see, there's a lot of different shapes to this. We've got a big shape, we've got smaller shapes. You know, the, the proportion is, is thought out with kind of the larger, and it gets smaller shapes as you go in. Uh, the pieces are all proportionate to each other. Balance. There's a lot of diagonals here, and those diagonals, they, they could make you feel like you're falling right out and sliding right out of the piece, if not for the balance. But because the artist has thought through uh, with the, the diagonals echoing on the top from the bottom and on the sides, um, it just really gives you a good, solid sense of balance. You don't feel precarious. You don't feel as if those pieces are sliding off of there at all. It, it feels solid. Okay. Rhythm, pattern, and movement. I kind of lumped all of those together because uh, they, they really are uh, similar to the things. You see a lot of movement. There's lines that move you from the sides into the various parts of the painting. Uh, the colors lead you through with the bright colors, the bright reds, uh, the little bit of pattern there. And then last but not least, harmony and unity. And this is more of a student type piece, but you can see uh, there's a nice balance there of the, there's negative space 
and the, the colors all work together. The negative space is in, gives your, place, your eye a place to rest. She's starting right in with a painting on the background and then gonna build up off the top. Exactly. And she's kind of doing the same thing over here, starting in with a painted like uh, right, right. <laughs> right. Oh, she's got some bling. I think you've got the most 3D piece in the room, at least so far. It is. Most, uh, people, most people are still thinking it's pretty flat, but you went right on um, into the 3D. Mm -hmm. And the reflective surfaces, that is fun. So what do you guys think of the balsa wood? Like it. Isn't that it fun? Works really well. It bends up a little bit. I, I noticed that. Uh, yeah, it feel like it's wet. Yeah, but it will dry. It will dry and it flattens out a little bit more once it's dry. So this has been a super fun project and I'm just loving to see where everybody goes with it. We've got, we've got flat pieces, we've got tall pieces, we've got large pieces, we've got small pieces. Everybody is just taking it to a different, to a different place. So if you think you would like to solve the art puzzle, head to dickblick.com where you'll find lots of balsa wood and all of the great things to decorate it with and make it colorful. Thanks for joining us today.